uh, thanks for coming and sorry for not answering to the meeting requests, but I'm working also for uh, another organization. I have something like 50 meetings uh, in uh, two days, so it's, I just don't have time. But anyway, if you want, um, I have just a meeting arranged uh, just after my, my presentation and uh, if you want, I have my desk, number 37. So if you want to come and ask something anyway. Um, thank you very much. Wow. Um, so, as you can see, uh, my presentation is about business listing, but it's not just about business listing. I mean, uh, it's about three different things, three different steps, levels, let's call them. Um, first of all, reviews, the reviews is reputation. Second step that is based on the reputation is the global visibility. And third, last step, the most important, is the return on investment, the ROI. What, you know, is more, is more important for us. Let's start from the beginning. So, reviews and reputation. When we speak about the reputation, we speak about one of the most important elements in the booking process. According to uh, TripAdvisor, um, TripBarometer, this, this one of the, maybe the, the, the largest survey in this industry in the world, uh, according to TripAdvisor, TripBarometer, is the largest survey because of the sample, but also because it gives us um, every time the, a double perspective. The hotel's perspective and the traveler's perspective is very interesting. According to the survey, look, look at that. 89% of travelers, of global travelers, say reviews are influential when choosing where to book. When we ask the same question to hoteliers, this, <laughs> this percentage raised is 96% of global hoteliers say reviews are influential in generating bookings. But why is like that? Why reputation is the most important element in the booking process? Uh, let's go back to the past, to the first reputation system in the history that is not in travel industry. It's eBay. Uh, eBay created the first reputation system. Why eBay had these needs? Because it was a need. eBay had a big problem. These transactions, these uh, commercial exchanges couldn't happen. Why? Because experts say in order for a transaction to happen between two people, we need to create trust between us. How is it possible to create this trust online where I don't know you, I never met you, I will never meet you anymore? It's impossible. So, eBay didn't create any, uh, anything new, I mean, um, took from uh, the word of mouth that was already there and took it on the other stage, on the web. And so created this reputation system that everything is based on a community and this community collaborate in order to create the trust between two people. I never met you, but someone from my community probably met you already. I will never meet you anymore but someone from my community will meet you again. So, this is why it is important, the reputation. And when it's about confidence, look at that. TripAdvisor is the first one. Why? Because it, um, it was this week, yes, in, in the beginning of the week I was in a conference in Milan, in a famous university, Milan Cattolica University, and the professor said, yes, when we speak about confidence in transactions, it's all about the community. How large is the community? The larger the community, probably the higher is the level of confidence. And so, is why TripAdvisor is the first one there. These are official. Uh, information and uh, you know now um, before moving on I want to uh, understand you know reputation is very important in the booking process but what is it reputation what reputation is and what reputation is not 
Because here there is a lot of misunderstanding. Reputation, first of all, is not review. Yeah, it's not review. I mean, the review, one single review is not reputation. One single review is just a message on the web. We call it a comment on something, about something. And is, first of all, related to a single person, so he is individual, related to my experience. So it's not so relevant because it's just my experience, my, but also is relevant not to all my experiences, but to one experience. It's possible that I go, I visit three times the same restaurant, but I have three different experiences. So it's particular, as it is individual. You understand that it's not so much relevant. In fact, you can find for a, you know, an hotel or a restaurant a good review, a very positive review, an excellent review, and just after it, a you know, very bad review is normal. But these reviews can be something else. Um, they have to get general. How to get general for a review? If they are part of a group of reviews that collaborate, uh, um, sorry, uh, corroborate each other. So they make them um, stronger, each other. In this sense, we don't call reviews anymore, but we call them, uh, as uh, English say, wisdom of the crowd. That is something different because it's the opinion of the majority about something. This is the reputation. But the reputation is not just the opinion of the majority about something. When we speak about reputation, we include also another thing, that is the honor response. Look, the honor response is very important. The honor response is the antithesis to a thesis. They are, you know, very important in order to build the truth. Truth is just a synthesis. You know very well these terms because they are Greek terms. You know, synthesis between thesis and antithesis. It's very important. If you don't post an honor response, probably the truth is on the review. So you are making the review more important. And then reputation. So the reputation is this wisdom of the crowd. That is something related to statistical power. The reputation is not ranking. The ranking is just a list of hotels that comes from a reputation, but is not a reputation. Let's give an example. Rome. Rome has something like 1,300 hotels. I can say that the first 150, 200 hotels in Rome have the same reputation, are all high reputation hotels. It's true. But one is the number one, and the last one is number 200. It's like that. The problem of ranking is that it's just a human list. It's, uh, it has uh, a limited function that is a, a structural, an organizational function. I have to organize the page some way. So it's not reputation. Now, we are very lucky because um, what TripAdvisor is, uh, is doing the last months is uh, making this uh, ranking less and less, less important. You don't find a, the, the, this, you can't see this ranking anymore coming up. Now there is the new filter, you know, that is automatic filter just for you. As soon as you uh, start a search in TripAdvisor, what you see is the best hotel for you is not the ranking. There is no official ranking anymore. Anyway, now we understand what is the reputation. So the most important thing, but just a few words about it, because we need a, a session just, just about uh, this uh, uh, subject. We need to manage the reputation. 
But once a while in Italy, usually, you know, uh, I have a lot of uh, speaking engagement in Italy, every week almost. This is my third speaking engagement in one week. So I'm very curious, you know, uh, you know, I, I came to Greece and there is also an Italian journalist here, but are you chasing me? <laughs> okay. You know, the, uh, our, uh, the relationship between TripAdvisor and, uh, you know, Italian journalists is not so easy. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's just a joke, no problem. And so, uh, you know, let's give just some words about the management because it's very important. When uh, I, I'm asked in, uh, in Italy, uh, how to manage the online reputation? No, there is not online reputation management. You need to manage your reputation because the online reputation is just part of reputation. It's, you know, think about the iceberg. It's just what you can see. But it's part of your reputation. You have to be interested in managing your reputation and then doing some actions also, you know, on the online reputation levels. But let's, let's see. First of all, you know, when you speak about the offline, let's call, to distinguish be, uh, between the offline and online reputation. When we speak about the online, the offline reputation, we speak about the guest satisfaction. We, we don't have to forget that we work in the hospitality industry. So guest satisfaction is the, in the center. Nothing changed with TripAdvisor. Nothing. Guest satisfaction. First of all, you have to identify your target. Why? Because the Mass tourism doesn't exist anymore. Now, today, there are different kind of tourists. I, I can't, the first thing, I can't satisfy all these different kind of tourists. I have to choose which kind of tourist I want to satisfy. This means I have to decide, I have to decide who I want to be on the market. And as soon as I design my identity, I have to communicate because today is all about storytelling. How is it possible for people to understand my identity? I have to communicate it. I have to tell a very good story about me, according to my identity. Offer high quality services. Establish and manage human relationship. Um, there are a lot of analysis based on the review content. All these analysis say, oh, we, 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 we see a lot of terms, a lot of words related to the human needs of relation. Maybe today we are stressed, we are depressed, we are, I don't know, we are lonely. But we need this relation, we, have to feel, we, we need to feel at ease, we have to feel at home when we are in a hotel and manage expectation. Manage expectation means that you have to keep this expectation lower compared to the reality. Compared to the reality. Because even if I have a good offer, but the expectation is higher compared to the reality, the guest is not satisfied. If you want to have this, uh, what um, in marketing they call uh, wow effect, is necessary that the expectation has to be lower than the reality. And there are a lot of good examples about it. Sorry, I moved too much. I know maybe, yes, you know already Italians do like that. But anyway, um, once you manage your reputation, you can also, you know, do some actions on the level of the online reputation, what appears. Look after your listing, photos, videos, property description. According to trip, um, uh, trip barometer second release, because we um, um, deliver two different trip barometer each year, one in April, one in September. In September, we study about the last one. We studied about the engagement, travel engagement. Photos, videos, description, they increase the, the travel engagement is very important. 
post appropriate responses to review it's very, I, I told you, is very, very relevant in order to create the truth about something. But, yes, it's important to post a response, but not just a response. It has to be an appropriate response. I have a lot of examples in Italy about not appropriate responses. There is a pizzeria that always campaigns against TripAdvisor that some... Uh, post the review, uh, sorry, a, a response, oh, I know who you are. I, I see you coming this way every, every day with your wife and your children. It's not appropriate, I mean. Encourage reviews because everything is also about the number of reviews. If everything is about, you know, confidence, it's not the same to have 10 reviews what 100 reviews or 1,000 reviews or more? No. If it's about the trust, the more reviews you have, the higher the confidence for traveler. Here there are some, okay, let's not spend time about it, just some you know, suggestions about how to answer, uh, uh, how to um, post an appropriate response. Upon the right person, yes, a person balanced, you know, it's, <laughs> it's the, the basic thing. In case of positive review, say thanks. In case of negative review, take your time. Avoid controversy, defense or aggressive approach because uh, um, they, uh, in this case, the, the responses turn people away. Do not rate or a negative message because you repeat them, so, twice. If you need to rate a negative message, purify them by using irony and creativity is very, very difficult. I'm lucky because I speak about these things, but I'm not an hotelier. Because it's very, very complicated. But it's your job. And no job is easy. Now, we spoke about reputational reviews. This is the first level, please. Don't stop at it. Go on. It's just the base. It's very important to understand, maybe I'm shouting, sorry. Uh, it's very important to understand that on this first step, we created, TripAdvisor was able to create another step that is the global visibility TripAdvisor can offer. It is the opportunity you have to get global. This is the global visibility. 300, sorry, these numbers, these figures keep rising. Every day I have a conference, I discovered this number changed. 315 million unique monthly visitors. Based on 190 million reviews and opinions from 70 million TripAdvisor members, something like more than 115 user contributions every minute. It's crazy. This is the TripAdvisor presence in the world. And this is your presence in the world. Now, how do you know? First of all, reputation. Second, reputation and no review or ranking. Reputation. Please be interested just in reputation. Reputation. On the base of reputation, second level is global visibility. But why is important this global visibility? Just because of the ROI, the return on investment. How to, get, uh, how to get the most out of this global visibility? How to take advantage of this global visibility? We have uh, maybe the best product on the market for hotels, that is the business listing. And we, are, uh, we have been discovering all for the last years, and every day is uh, a new challenge, that this... Uh, product is very, very useful, very powerful. Business listing, in order to understand what business listing is, we have to start from an hotel that doesn't have any business listing. This is an, an hotel page without business listing. If you can see, you, you know, you are a traveler, the only option to book that this hotel is offering is the meta search. So, probably, probably, OTAs. 
When you have business listing, maybe, yeah, you understand the difference on the top of the page, just under the name. There are direct contacts. And so the hotel, the, the traveler can contact the hotel directly. But not just it, because now we have two different options. These options, you know, probably travelers can, you know, some people decide to contact the hotel directly, some people decide to go to the meta search. But for this reason, we do something more. We make them choose your option, your direct option, and this with special offer. You can display a special offer together with your direct contacts. Look, it's very important to have the direct contacts on your page. I don't think it's just me, but today, today, I don't know how many people go and book through MetaSearch. I have a lot of data about it. I know that there are a lot of uh, clicks, you know, you pay, because people click, but how many people book compared to the clicks is very low rate. Because today people want to have a direct contact, want to speak with you, want to speak with the hotel, want to negotiate, want the hotel offer something that is just for me, for my needs. I want to tell the hotel, I come with one year child. Special offer comes uh, with uh, a window, pop-up window, where you uh, can display the description of the offer, book online, you see. There are all direct contacts of the hotel. But the special offer changes your visibility, your exposure on the site. You get more visible. Here we are in the destination page. So in a moment in which the, 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 the traveler chooses the destination, but not yet the hotel. So, while he's choosing the hotel, you come up there, in the center of the page, special offers in this destination. You are more visible, you get more exposure. Not just this, because there are filters now. One filter is dedicated to special offer. I click to this filter, and I go to a dedicated page page in which I found just hotels with special offer. So I get out of competition. Everything is uh, available on mobile side. Um, until uh, October, I mean maybe September, it was an upgrade, so you had to pay something more to have this uh, mobile, that was mobile upgrade. Now it's not an upgrade anymore, it's something included in the standard business listing. The business listing includes also a lot of uh, data, included in the dashboard, property dashboard. The data is about your competitors, about your uh, property, about your visitors, about uh, your competitors and so on. There is also the uh, announcement and the photo slide show. This is my, uh, I, uh, it's not the end, uh, just uh, um, I, I give you uh, my contact because, sorry, I, uh, I finished my uh, business cards because I'm, I've been traveling for two weeks, so I don't have business cards anymore, sorry for that. And uh, uh, these are, so write down if you can. And, uh, Another thing I want to add, just one minute. Uh, the Greek Tourist Travel Board is uh, investing a lot of money. It's very good news for me with TripAdvisor. In two years, 2013 and 2014, they invest something like $700,000 in advertising, in banners, in promotions. I want to show you just something here. And on different, on different domains, for example, UK domain. Here we are in the flight page, so we are searching for flights. Discover Greece. We are uh, 
searching for an hotel in Sardinia. No, come to Greece, discover Greece. UK domain, but it's the same on the other domain in Sicily. No, don't go to Sicily. Come to Greece, discover Greece. Discover Greece also if you look for an hotel in La Valletta, in Malta. Here UK domain, Brazil domain, but there are almost all European domains and also Brazil and United States out of Europe. Here, okay, here in Greece, but anyway, Descubra Grecia, hotel in Santorini, Descubra Grecia, and also, okay, Brazil and Brazil, okay, nothing. Just to, you know, I'm very proud of you.